Hey guys, I'm Common Rider Silver, and today we will be doing our second Jazzwares Total Anime Review. Today we have Ken Kaneki from Tokyo Ghoul. I mentioned in my Aaron Yeager review that they were making a Ken Kaneki and how excited I was for that, and here it finally is. I saw this popping up on people's Instagram pages about two weeks ago. I went into Target, and as usual, my targets have absolutely nothing in them but today i was like i'm feeling it so i went in and there was ken kaneki uh, i was almost tempted to pay scalper prices but i'm glad i didn't these figures are even cheaper in stores than they are on amazon on amazon they're 19.99 in stores these are 16.99 this is a 17 dollar figure which is just absolutely insane to me this figure is a dream come true uh, I've wanted, I have so wanted a nice articulated Ken Kaneki figure. They just didn't really seem to ever happen. There was, um, there's that one Japanese one and then McFarlane made like a statue. And I remember thinking back then, oh, if only McFarlane made this into an articulated figure. I think I even spammed their comments one time asking for that. But today Jazzwares has done it. And, um, I think this looks absolutely amazing. Uh, you can see in the box he has uh, two pairs of extra hands. Um, one is the finger cracking hand and then he's got uh, two extra heads and actually an extra neck too. Um, and he's got his Kagune back there and uh, the box is purple, it looks nice. Tokyo Ghoul, number six, Ken Kaneki. And a very cool render on the back and the other figures in the line. I have the SH Figure Arts Chainsaw Man, but I don't know, I might wanna check out the total anime one. I was one of those Tokyo Ghoul fans. I was one of them cringy ones, but uh, this is this is for me. So let's open this figure up. And here's Kaneki outside of the box. Just like Aaron Yeager, this guy comes with a ton of accessories. And uh, let's let's just get right into it. So as far as heads go, you have this calm head or sad head. Kaneki's always kind of sad. You've got this crazy head. Look at him. He's ready to go crazy. And along with these heads without the masks, you get this uh, neck piece that doesn't have any mask on it. So you get that, and then of course you get the classic, classic ghoul mask. And I think this is done really darn well. Crisp, crisp paint application. Even the little metallic zipper across the teeth is there. Um, on the nose, on the eye patch, the little gold buckles, and or the little silver buckles and the eye. Even some little lines around the eye to show the intensity. And there at the neck, you can see that uh, that's the separate neck piece that has part of the mask, a little respirator parts to it, whatever it is. Uh, and these interchange just like the Aaron Yeager one. I'm gonna pop it all off. It's a, a hair piece and uh, I'll pop this neck off too. And we'll put this neck in here and let's put the crazy face in there and that is a regular head with no mask and uh, the hair looks really good it's got a little bit of a dark wash to it you can see there in the back this is a really cool head it's a little bit hard to get onto the figure you gotta really kind of uh, pop that's not even all the way on is it that's good enough so there you go that looks really really cool i love that a lot i don't i wanted to like this calm head but there's something that it's like sunken in do you see that right there it's like a little bit sunken in and that just it doesn't quite look right he looks like he's smirking all the time but you know two of the th two out of the three heads looking good i'd say we're doing pretty good i'm going to put back on masked head because I love 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 
the design of the Tokyo Ghoul Mask. All right, moving on to the other accessories, we've got a little base right here. You've got fist hands. They've all have they all have black nails because Kaneki is edgy like that. You've got an open hand right there. That is cool. And then you have very specific to the series, his finger cracking hand. That is very very cool touch to have. And then, in addition to this stuff, you have all his interchangeable parts for his Kagune. So you've got an interchangeable back piece with the little gross stuff coming out the back. And then you have all of these bendable painted Kagune. Uh, they got bendy wires in them. And they've got a little hinge here at the back, um, which is a little paint stuck right now. But I will kind of heat these up later as we put them on. Taking a look at the actual figure, I think they got down his uh, his ghoul costume very well. Nice gla glossy black with the undersuit that has some like dry brushing on it and uh, all these stripes. And I like that up here the collar is kind of a soft plastic so that doesn't get in the way. He's got just these shorts. I've always thought that was funny. He just had like these trunks. And then he's got more of that black undersuit with really crisp, really crisp painted lines on the back, painted little buckles. And of course, this is the interchangeable back piece, which is very cool. I do got to say on both my total anime figures, the legs have been kind of loose. Aaron Yeager's are kind of loose right here at the hips. And this one, he's a little, he's a little loose right here at the, at the knee. So that's just kind of a thing. You know, these are even less than $20 figures, so I figure that the uh, something's gotta give at some point. But overall, the proportions, the paint, this is just, I mean, just take a look at that face one more time. That is just the figure I've been waiting for. It looks good from all, all angles. And uh, I don't think that this head with this little indentation, I don't think this is on all of them. So this is just a case by case basis, but if mine wasn't like that, I would love absolutely all three of the heads. So let's go and try to change out this back piece. You just kind of pop it off at the sides. And then you pop this one on. I went in nice and easy. All right. And then I guess you just plug each one of these in. All right, after heating up the uh, tentacles, I got them in, and uh, this is a, quite an impressive display, especially for a $17 figure. These are really, really nice. They're glossy, and they've got a really nice, um, you know, dry brushing on the little spines, and at the tips, they get darker. They're really, really nice. And uh, once they plug into that little back piece, they're in there pretty good and they're on little hinges. This, I don't see this being, uh, you know, uh, I don't see a longevity in posing him like this on the shelf. I feel like things are going to give after time. Gravity is going to pull these tentacles down and I don't think these kind of loose legs are going to be able to support it for too long. So uh, I don't see it being sustainable. But for right now, uh, it does work. You can pose him like that. You can take pictures and all that. And, you know, I'm over here saying, oh, he's not going to stand. Well, he comes with a stand, so I should probably use that, right? There we go. Uh, still, I'm not going to um, keep him on the shelf like this at all times. But that is just so darn cool to do. And uh, they, they move very well. You can kind of bring him down, up. And, of course, uh, you can bend them all over. And uh, that just looks darn, darn cool. Wow. Look at that. That is absolutely, absolutely amazing. I love that so much. Putting everything to the side right now, let's take a look at articulation. He's got a ball joint at the top of the neck and at the bottom of the neck, so you can get some really nice movement combined in there side to side all the way around and like I said earlier this soft collar does not get in the way of that range of motion whatsoever so you've got some amazing articulation right there 
you've got a ball hinge at the shoulder go up that much go down you've got a swivel here where the cuff is so that's your bicep swivel you've got a double jointed elbow very cool you've got a swivel and a hinge at the hand and all of them go in like that none of them are a trigger then we've got a bicep we have an ab crunch right there it goes down a little bit goes back quite a bit then you've got also a ball joint at the waist so you can combine that to get a little more crunch and a lot of back movement and of course all of these parts rotate you've got a, a ball joint right here at the hip and it's also a little bit of a drop down more of a drop down in the sense that this like pant short is kind of a floating piece so it kind of moves around uh, so you don't get as much drop down as Aaron Yeager but there is, still is a little bit one in there then you've got a swivel here at the short so that's your uh i guess your thigh swivel kind of um but you also do kind of have a little bit of a swivel in the short itself then you have a double jointed knee and it can only go about that much and then you come out and you've got a hinge at the foot and an ankle rocking joint uh this leg right here is annoying me a little bit i might put some kind of solution in there to kind of uh tighten it up especially if i'm going to be posing him with the kagune uh, i need all the uh joints functioning properly combined with the kagune uh this has a few articulation points like i said right here there's some hinges so once i heated them up they uh, work pretty darn good and of course you have all of this uh, bendy wire area and you can see the little holes they always have to have these little breathing holes for bendy wire don't know why but that's just the thing they do <laughs> scaling Kaneki up he stands at just about six and a quarter inches eh, six and a half uh, I know this line is a six and a half inch line but Izuku Midoriya he the figure I've seen him in person he's about the same size as the Rival Tech. So I don't know what the discrepancy is here. I don't know if Jazzware thinks that Kaneki and, well, I'll just bring him in right now, Aaron Yeager are much larger. I mean, they're just shonen protagonists, so I think all of them are pretty darn short. But um, that is the scale of the line, so I just thought that was interesting that Izuku is a, a smaller figure. But these figures uh, do scale good with each other, and... Um, I'm not too uh, beat up about them being six and a half inches. They're their own line. I'm just glad that they're not a McFarlane 7. But here is Aaron Yeager and Kaneki together. Oh, both amazing figures. Both with uh, excellent accessories. Jazzwares went above and beyond to make sure that these figures had show-specific uh, accessories. And sorry, I'm trying to interchange Kaneki's back piece right now. Uh, I, I just really appreciate them adding the Aaron Yeager Titan shifting face. I really appreciate them adding the Kaneki finger cracking hands. It's just, it shows that they really, really care. Who do I want next in this line? Hmm. I would love to see them pick up something like Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. That would be absolutely amazing. I, I have a feeling they're going to probably do a Demon Slayer figure. You know, they're probably going to do a um, maybe a Black Clover or something a little bit more um, mainstream. Maybe they'll do some Dondadon figures. That would be cool, too. I know that they can make pretty much any figure that Crunchyroll uh, has the license to. Here is these figures alongside Chainsaw Man from SH Figure Arts. So you can see they are bigger figures, but hey, that is some awesome, awesome anime figures right there. So there you go, guys. There was a look at the Jazzwares total anime Ken Kaneki figure from Tokyo Ghoul. Guys, if you are a Tokyo Ghoul fan, you need to get this figure. This is a Target exclusive. They are rolling out now. Don't play, don't pay the uh, scalper prices like I almost did 
wait and get this figure for $17, you will be thanking me. This is such an amazing figure. Even with the little bit of loose knee that I had um, and the kind of warped faceplate, I still really, really love this figure and I can't wait to have him on the shelf with my other anime figures. I hope this line continues to thrive and I hope they continue to make some amazing figures that we've never had toys of from these animes that we all cherish dearly. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! You can put your hood on over it. I think that looks pretty boss. Ah!